Here was your hard copy notes that you needed to fill out and none of these were difficult and we took them up in class and did a little bit more in depth but if you missed it you can pause the video and fill these in and I'm just going to slowly scroll down and you can pause it to get the answers. Uh, this page was optional. It's just if you're not familiar with the uh, um, imperial system, which is what the MOS exam is in, you, you may want to jot these down just to get an idea of the conversions. And uh, these were found in layout. Here are all the answers for here. You don't see the centimeters. You could convert them with an app or you could use your option advanced display uh, to change to centimeters the ruler and then when you click here these would display in centimeters this page was just about making sure that people knew that uh, there's different tabs on here this first one is for choosing a type and applying it to the whole document. When you're on this border here, you uh, change your settings and it will be applied to the paragraph that the insertion point is on. However, you can select some text like I'm doing and go through and put the border only on the selection of text and it will go on there. You can also do uh, custom borders and I just did a quick demo of that in class and the way that you do that and I believe it's in the video on your lesson as well. You can go through here but then you have the extra step of hitting page border or you can go through the design tab and hit page border here. Now if you want a custom page border you click on the custom button you choose your settings for example dashed with the color blue and three points and then you click where you would like it to appear. Here is the top line. Change your settings to solid and so on. Pick a different color, a different weight and click on the right or the left. Again change your settings and then click and you end up with a custom border. Here's the difference between shading and highlighting. We're not going to get into this in a big way but one can be part of the style which is shading which can be found here. And it can look exactly, it can have these patterns or it can have a color and it can look exactly like highlighting which is over here. And that is what the difference is, just that shading can be part of a style and highlighting can't and also those extra patterns in the shading. These you can find just by hovering on the commands uh, all the answers are in here for this one. This I did demonstrate when you start a bullet list and press enter, uh, shift enter what happens and this is a handy command so if you have your bullets on and you type something and you want to expand on a point, 
but not have a bullet. Shift enter is called a soft return. And it lets you get an extra line. If I press enter now, I get my bullet back. But here at this point, I press shift enter. Put and you can see that there's a different symbol when you press shift enter. We call that a soft return or a line break. And it does take you to the next line, but it doesn't include the bullet. And that's as far as we got today was the end of this list.